I'm in my final week of exams right now, so I haven't really left my house much. I've just been studying, or I've been trying to study. Honestly, I like haven't really been that good at it, but I think I just need to get out of the house if I go on a walk. And I was thinking of picking up some bananas. I feel like just going to the grocery store, running an errand, and then coming back and trying to do a little bit more schoolwork will be good. So I'm gonna do that, oh my God. <laughs> she just wants to be part of it. I'm gonna eat a snack. I just have some bread in a pan right now that I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna go outside and you're gonna come and that's gonna be that. Oh, I got this sweater from this like holiday market thing. It's called Lucky Girl. It's this vintage beer sweater that says the ice is black. I feel like vintage beer merch is so intense, but I really like the back. It's kind of fun. Also, I feel like you can tell that I slept with these braids in my hair and it's like two o'clock and I haven't taken them out and I'm not going to. Sometimes you just have to be a little bit of a slob. It's fine. Okay, I am very bundled and I am ready to go. I'm wearing my jacket that I always wear, Levi's that I always wear, you already know. Uh, this scarf from Colorful Standard, my Clark's, a lend bag. Okay, let's go on a little walk. Time to go. really procrastinating studying right now but mostly because I can't stop thinking about this I got a little ritual candle I'll show you I got this at the bookstore the other day and I kind of want to try something out so we're gonna do that
I just went to this really fancy Italian grocery store and I got my parents a bunch of gifts. This is just like all of their Christmas gifts. I kind of do this every year. I just like go to the store and I buy them like a bunch of charcuterie stuff or just like anything that seems fun. So I'm gonna show you everything I got them. But first I have to tell you about the sponsor of this video. I am so excited to tell you guys that this video is sponsored by Keen. Keen is an app that connects you with psychics, tarot readers, and astrologers. And I used to go and see a psychic and a tarot reader. She lived right across the street from my house. But during the pandemic, I couldn't see her anymore. And I wish I had known about Keen because I really missed having that ritual in my life. I really like to go and have my cards read whenever the seasons change. And Keen is just so convenient. All you have to do is create an account and then you can scroll through and look at all of the different readers and psychics that are available to you and then you can just find somebody that you think kind of aligns with your values and you can set up a reading with them you can ask some questions about your relationship you can get advice about your career about moving about your family your friends the last time i set up a reading i had a lot of questions about my career and traveling and potentially moving you can set up a phone call with a reader or you can just text them which i kind of love i feel like that's the most like 21st century way to talk to a psychic or a reader you just text with them that's kind of my favorite way to do it. If you're new to the Keen app, you can get a five minute reading for just $1. There'll be a link in the description, so you can just click on that and then you can download the app. Sometimes it's fun to just be a little woo woo, you know? Okay, this is everything I got my parents. I was initially planning to just get them a bunch of charcuterie stuff and then I just kind of went off the rails a bit. But I got my mom this candle from this company that she's obsessed with, these little cookies this drink it's like this delicious non-alcoholic aperitif it's really good it's just like super bitter some olives a chocolate bar i've gotten my parents this chocolate hazelnut butter before and they really liked it uh, some anchovy fillets that one was kind of random jardinera so some of it is kind of for a charcuterie board like the crackers and this peach and white balsamic jam the seasonal pickles are also kind of funny. I think it's like a bunch of carrots and they're just pickled. This tea, my mom just really likes rooibos tea. So yeah, kind of a bunch of random stuff, but I think they'll like all of it. I'm just about to walk over to the bakery. I'm gonna be working from like 11.30 until four-ish today. And then I think a friend of mine is coming over and she's just gonna sort of like hang out at my apartment while I'm studying. And that's gonna be today. Yeah. To go write an exam today. Isn't that gross? I feel like I'm too old to be writing exams, but I think it'll go well. I feel like I studied a lot. It's for a contemporary art history class, which I actually really enjoyed and I really liked my prof, but I almost feel like that makes the exam more stressful because like I want my prof to like me and I don't want her to think I'm an idiot, so now I feel really obligated to do well on the exam, which is kind of making me stressed, but I think it'll be fine. And then tonight, it's gonna be really fun because one of my childhood best friends is in town, so I'm gonna go to a show with her and a couple other friends. We're gonna go to this bar that we all found out is recently closing. It's like one of the only good Winnipeg venues for music. So I feel like I need to go there a couple more times before they close. That's gonna be fun and also kind of sad, but mostly fun. And I'll probably wear a fun little something and yeah, but first I have to go write my stupid exam. Whenever I wear a hat with a little point, I just feel like a chocolate chip, but I kind of like it. I'm just a little chip. I'm just getting dressed to go to my exam and I put on this pair of pants that have absolutely no stretch. They're my Stan Ray painter pants and I really love them, but I feel like since I started working at the bakery, I've definitely gained like a couple pounds and my hips are just feeling like a little thicker. 
and I feel like these pants are not gonna be good for sitting in and I'm gonna need to change. Maybe I'll wear these tonight because I'll be standing for most of the evening, but yeah, these, everything's really like sucked in here. And it's, I'm feeling compressed. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna wear my blue Levi's because they're a little more of a mid-rise. And I haven't been wearing them a lot lately. I feel like I've been wearing my black ones a lot more. And I'm gonna wear my Clarks. These are so comfortable. They have such good arch support. I feel like I've just never actually owned shoes with arch support because I only ever buy like a fashion shoe, but these are great. Also extremely addicted to this fragrance right now. So I'm gonna drench myself in it, even though I actually feel like I don't necessarily need to drench myself in it because it's very, very strong, but it's like the most beautiful, smoky, spicy winter fragrance. I really love it. I just have on this black tank top and these pants and my necklace and I was gonna wear my loafers, just like my black loafers, but I feel like it's so boring. I'm gonna have to wear a jacket cause I'll be freezing outside. I don't know. Maybe when Aiden gets here, I'll ask her what I should wear. Or maybe I'll just wear this. I don't even care. I feel like my hair is like kind of curly enough that it's it doubles as an accessory. So maybe I, maybe I'll just wear this. Guys, I have a concussion. Never had a concussion before, so I don't really know what to do, but all I've been doing for like the last 24 hours is lying down and listening to audiobooks because it hurts to look at my phone and I think I'm just gonna go back to sleep. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>